Cleaning up efforts underway tonight, just one day after that train derailed in Harmer Township. Train cars flew off the tracks and into a creek below, creating an environmental hazard there. We have live team coverage tonight covering all angles to keep you and your family safe. We're going to start with KDK's Erica Stanish, who has been on the scene and on the story since it broke yesterday. Erica. Yeah, well, as you mentioned, crews have been here now for more than 24 hours working to clean up after this train derailed. And as they continue, they're now asking the public to stay away. Dangerous area for right now. It's going to be for the next few days. Stay out of the area. Local and federal agencies continuing the cleanup and monitoring the area after 17 train cars derailed Thursday, sending some into the creek below. Video shows the magnitude of the disaster, where emergency crews acted swiftly to protect any impacts in the water and on land. Right now, they're trying to get the submerged tankers or partially submerged tanker cars out. Um, the boom is, is doing its job right now, but we will definitely update as, as things roll on. The EPA coordinator says they plan to test the water tomorrow, but has not witnessed any fish kill or impacts to aquatic life. Next, crews will work to remove the train cars, as some are carrying petroleum distillate inside. But have since been contained. They're focused on those tank cars first uh, because of the petroleum distillate. In some cases, they've got to remove the empty gondola cars that have nothing in them but maybe debris, as you can see right behind us, in order to access some of those cars. Again, you can see just a very active scene here. We do want to update you on those involved in this train derailment yesterday. We understand that both train operators have been released from the hospital. And as for the worker that was driving that construction vehicle crossing the tracks when the train collided with it, he had lacerations to his face, we're told, but was able to get out of his truck and walk around before being taken to the hospital. His condition tonight, though, remains unknown. Now, again, this should likely be going on through Memorial Day probably the days after and the weeks after a huge a cleanup process here. But again, a lot of people have been coming down to this area and emergency officials are urging the public to stay away, calling it dangerous and unsafe. Reporting live, Erica Stanish, KDK News.